welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day! Welcome to my math classroom. This is Teacher I, and I'm going to share with you today the uh, properties of multiplication. So, we have five properties of multiplication. So, we have the first one. We have the identity property of multiplication. So, when you say identity property of multiplication, it is it states that in the multi in multiplying any number by one, the product is the number itself. Example: If you are going to multiply the one by eight, it will give us the product of eight. And if we are going to multiply fifteen by one, the product is fifteen. Yes. So this is the identity property of multiplication. the zero property of multiplication when we say zero property of multiplication it states that in multiplying any number to zero the product is zero so still if you, even if you multiply 1000 to zero the answer would be zero so because of that zero property of multiplication and for the example we have there when you are going to multiply 8 by 0 it will give us 0 and if you're going to multiply 0 by 100 it will the product will still 0 so this is the zero property of multiplication yeah so number three is the commutative property or the so-called order property of multiplication it states that the um the changing the order of the factor does not affect the product. Even though if you are going to change the first factor becomes the last factor, the last factor becomes the, uh, the, um, the first factor, it will not change the product. Example we have here, 4 times 5 equals to 5 times 4. The 4 times 5 will give us... 20 while well, the 5 times 4 will give us 20 so it does not change the product another example we have there 2 times 16 equals 16 times 32 so this 2 times 16 will give us the product of 32 while the 16 times 2 will give us the product of 32 as well so it does not change the product okay so this is the commutative it means you just change the order okay the first becomes the last the last becomes the first so that's the commutative or the order property of multiplication another number four property of multiplication is we have the associative or or grouping property of multiplication so it states that changing the grouping of the factors does not affect the product Okay, example, we have there 5 times 2, uh, parenthesis, we group the 2 times 4, and then equals to, we group 5 and 2, and then times 4. So, um, it does not change the uh, product. So, it's example, so 5 times, so this 2 times 4 is 8. If you multiply that to 5, it will give us 40. Well, this 5 times 2 will give us 10. And if you're going to multiply it to 4, it will give us 40. So, the same product still, okay, even though they change their grouping, okay? So, another example is 3 times parenthesis 4 times 5 equals um, parenthesis 3 times 4 times 5. So, the we multiply, uh, me, we first multiply the 4 times 5, it gives us 20. So, 3 times 20 is 60, while this one 3 times 12 would I3 times 4 rather will give us um, 12 times 5. So when you see 12 times 5, it will give us 60. Still, they have the same factor. So that's the uh, associative or grouping property of multiplication. Even though if you change their grouping, their product will still be the same. So this one. There. 
Aki. Another one is the last one. We have the distributive property of multiplication. Okay. So it states that the, pro that the product can be written as the sum or difference of two products. Okay, so you just distribute the numbers. Example, 2 times 4 plus 5. So let's distribute uh, 2 to 4 and 2 to 5. So 2 times 4, then copy plus, then 2 times 5. Okay, so still they will give us the same um, answer or product rather. Another example is 25 times uh, uh, parenthesis 10 minus 1 equals to, let's distribute 25. So 25 times 10, then copy z, the minus, minus, then 25 times 1. Okay, they will still give us the same uh, product with this to this one. Okay, so there, there's the, uh, this is the distributive property of multiplication. Okay, so let's have some drill. Okay, if you really um, understand um, the topic for today. So I have here the um, find the missing um, number. So this is one to seven drill. So let's answer. So we have blank times seven equals zero. So if you multiply to zero, what should be the missing one? Yes, you're correct. It's zero. And another one, we have 15 times 1. What is the product? Yes, it's 15. Next one, 8 times blank equals 8. So what is the number that you multiply to that number will give us the same number? So it's 1, you're correct. Next one is 9 times 0. Yes, you're correct. It's 0. Okay. Another one, blank times 10 equals 0. Yes, it will give us zero. So if you multiply it, it is zero. Blank times ten equals ten. Yes, it's one. Five times one equals five. There. So that's that. I drill that we have for today. The easy one. Okay, so it's one to seven. Okay. And and I have here the 8 to 10. So it is say here that write IPM for the identity property of multiplication, ZPM for the zero property of multiplication, and then CPM for your commutative property of, of multiplication. We also have EPM for associative property of multiplication and DPM for distributive property of multiplication. So the first one is 20 times 1. Should you multiply it to 1? What's that? Yes, it's the Okay, it's the identity property. So it's IPM. Okay, next one. 2 times 7. 2 times, parenthesis is 7 times 5 equals to 2 times 7 times 5. So that is? Yes, it's correct. It's a? It's associated property, EPM. Next, we have there 0 times 5. Yes, it's 0 property of Yushapo. Next, 8 times 5, 5 times 8. You just uh, change the order. So it's the, okay, very good. It's the. CPM, the commutative property of multiplication. Okay, so number five, we have there. Okay, one times 33 equals 33. Yes, it's the identity property of multiplication or the IPM. Next, 5 times 9, 9 times 5, you just change the order. So, it's the CPM. Number 7, 8 uh, times parenthesis 4 times 2 equals to 8, uh, equals to parenthesis 8 times 4 times 2 is the, okay, there's a grouping. So, it's the associative property.
there. Okay, for number 9, I have here, okay, 15 times 2 times 5 equals 15 times 2 plus 15 times 5. Yes, it's DPM. You just distribute it. Distributive property of multiplication. Okay, next. 9 times 5 equal uh, 9 times 5 parenthesis 5 minus 2 equals to 9 times 5 minus 9 times 2. It's yes, it's still distributive property of multiplication. Another one, 3 times 10. I know, 3 times 0 rather equals to 0. It's, yes, it's the 0. Okay, oops, sorry. So, there's the answer. Okay, my dear parents, I do hope you learned a lot from this lesson of mine. This is Teacher I saying thank you so much for watching. And uh, please keep on studying. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and also uh, share to others. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.